Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to recreate this fun, cute, yet simple nail look perfect for spring and summer. We're going to start off with clean hands and fresh nails and I'm going to go ahead and start shaping my nails into my preferred shape with a nail file and for this look I am going for more of a rounded oval shape but you feel free to do more of a pointed stiletto look or even more of a sharp square coffin look. I'm going to go ahead and push back my cuticles and they aren't thick so I don't see the need to cut them but make sure yours are pushed back and neat so that when it's time to apply the gel polish you won't get that onto the cuticle which can lead to your manicure prematurely peeling. I'm going to take my base coat from one of my favorite gel polish brands D&D &D, and apply an even coat leaning on the thin side being careful around the cuticle and side walls of the nail. It's easy to make the nails too thick and bulky with gel from polishing on too much with all the layers of base coat, color, and top coat combined, so it's better to use only what you need. I find one of the ways to have a manicure that really lasts weeks without chipping or peeling is from what base coat and top coat you use and how you're applying them. I would spend a little more on those to make sure my nails last as long as possible. Go ahead and cure these underneath the lamp for as long as it's recommended for your base coat, minus 30 seconds. I'm going to take this pale pink color that actually came in a kit with my lamp and apply an even coat to all the nails. I purchased the LED lamp on Amazon in a kit that included six neutral shades that I'd actually recommend, especially for the price. Links will be in the description if you're looking to do gel manicures at home. You're going to make sure to wipe away any excess gel polish so that it doesn't cure and harden on your skin. So this is what it looks like with one coat on, but I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat to get a more opaque pink color. This is the color with the second coat on. Next onto the nail art, I'm taking an opaque white gel polish from the brand D&D &D in the color Snowflake to do our petals. I'm taking a small angled brush to create the petals by simply stamping them on where I want them. They don't have to be perfect, some have six petals, some have five, it's all going to come together in the end. I'm scattering the flowers back and forth across the nail, leaving some of the petals hanging off to add more visual interest. I'm going to cure each layer so I don't accidentally smudge anything or make my colors bleed into each other. Next, I'm taking an opaque gold glitter gel polish, also from D&D, &D, in the color 24 karat to create the centers of the flowers and also to use it for the ombre nails coming up. On my pinky nail, I'm just recreating all the steps that we just did on our middle finger, but uh, reversing the pattern of where the flowers are.
Next, working on our ombre glitter tip nails, I'm going to apply that same 24 karat polish directly from the bottle onto the tip of the nail, concentrating the glitter onto the edge. After I place the glitter exactly where I want it, I'm going to take a small flat brush and some base coat that I've dabbed onto a glass surface on the side and go back and forth feathering out the glitter to create that ombre look. I went ahead and repeated the same steps onto my ring finger and then picking out the bling that I'm going to place on it. I'm taking some nail glue to attach it. For the last nail, I'm going to combine the designs and have an ombre glitter background with some white flowers on top, concentrating the flowers near the tip of the nail. To finish it off, I'm attaching some more bling near the cuticle. Now, time to seal up everything with my favorite top coat that doesn't leave a sticky film from D&D. I made sure to coat around the bling so they stay in place. Last but not least, I'm taking some cuticle oil and making sure to re-moisturize them and keep them healthy. So here is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and get inspired for your own nails for this spring and summer.